The shield released in December called Prime requires you to collect three classified gear sets. Another shield, Chieftain, requires you to optimize at least one classified gear set. There are at least 16 commendations related to the collection and usage of classified gear set. And in general, collecting and min-maxing classified is the end game for many players. There are 14 classified gear sets, each having 6 gear pieces for a total of 84 classified gear set pieces. If you're looking to collect every single one of them, needlessly to say, it can be quite a grind to collect them all. But don't worry, I'm here to make your life a lot easier. We'll take a look at all the classified gear sets, the most efficient way to farm them and their drop chances. So you can collect those classifieds and get ready for Washington DC. To give you an idea, let's quickly go over the 14 classified gear sets. We have Alpha Bridge with the chest piece, mask, knee pads, backpack, gloves and holster. On top of that we have Banshee Shadow, Defense, Dead Eye, Final Measure, Firecrest, Hunter's Fate, Lone Star, Path of the Nomad, Predator's Mark, Claimer, Sentry Skull, Striker's Battle Gear and Tactician Authority's gear sets. That's a lot to keep track of, so you need a bit of help with that. A handy little site that can help is MyDivision.net. It provides an overview of every classified gear set and their 6 gear pieces. You can check the boxes of the ones you already have, giving you a quick overview of your collection. The site is in the description. Continuing with the video will show you every method from guaranteed to least likely to drop, based on the drop percentage. I've taken into account that you play on World Tier 5, since this gives you the highest chance of earning classifieds. The drop chances for each of the methods are based on the research from a year old reddit post from Bidlilin. The updated post lasts in April 2018, so keep in mind that these stats could have changed in the meantime. The post is also linked in the description. Let's keep things moving by starting with method number 1. The most effective way to collect classifieds is during global events. There are 6 global events, each having 3 to 4 specific classified gear sets that you're able to get during that specific event. The goal is to collect global event credits, also known as GE credits. You can earn these in two ways, completing missions and incursions and eliminating named enemies and hunters. Your best bet is the modified legendary mission since this can give you up to 1575 GE credits and 38 GE credits for each boss. Using these GE credits you can purchase GE superior caches or GE gear set caches. The first one costs 1500 GE credits and provides a 45% chance to drop a classified with a 12.5% chance to roll a bonus item and this bonus item has a 90% chance to be a classified item. The GE gear set caches are a bit more expensive at 3000 GE credits, but they provide a 100% drop chance. This simply is the most guaranteed way to farm classifieds. However, outside of global events, which is most of the time, it's a lot harder to farm classifieds. Your best bet is buying a classified gear set cache from the special equipment vendor in the terminal of the base of operations. This guarantees you a classified, but comes at the cost of 2500 Phoenix credits. The vendor also sells gear set caches, which have a 1% drop chance to reward you with classified. It's a good method, but since Phoenix credits cap at 8000, you're done pretty quickly. The third method is one everyone swears by, and for good reason. Resistance, the wave-based horde mode, allows you to earn classifieds in two ways. Resistance reward caches and resistance tier caches. Let's start with the former. Resistance reward caches drop from the resistance reward crate, which can be unlocked by spending a certain amount of shade tech on it. Every upgrade drops an item with a 61% drop chance for classifieds. The beauty of this is that you can share it with your teammates and they can share it with you. The resistance tier caches are earned by completing the waves. Every 5 waves you receive one. Until wave 45 these increase in tier from tier 1 to tier 5. Each cache depending on the tier has a drop chance between 10 and 80% of a classified for the first item and a 12.5 to 20% chance for the second item. The specific drop chances for each of the tier caches can be found in the red post. 
On top of that, named enemies have a 3% drop chance and spawn every 5 waves as well. But let's say you're bored of the methods I already mentioned. There are 5 other methods. The fourth one, grinding legendary missions and heroic incursions, has a 36% chance to reward you with a class fight at the end. On top of that, the named enemies have a 3-6% drop chance and the hunters have an always 6% drop chance. By this time you're probably already sick of the missions and incursions as you played all of them at least a hundred times. Survival might be something for you then, because survival caches grant you a 17% chance of a classified and you can extract 6 at a time. Keep in mind however that you're usually spending about an hour to hour and a half in this mode and of course it's a DLC or season pass related mode. The dark zone is perhaps a better place for most people. It's easier to access, doesn't require your DLC and you can basically quit at any moment if you feel like it. There are several ways the dark zone can reward you with classifieds. Eliminating named enemies, clearing contamination events, collecting loot from dark zone crates and collecting dark zone supply drops. The former has a 5-6% to drop chance, clearing contamination events has a 5% drop chance, opening dark zone crates grants a 5-6% to drop chance and dark zone supply drops with another 5-6%. to Upon entering or leaving the dark zone you can also buy a dark zone sealed cache at the dark zone vendor which has a drop chance of 1%. However, this is very expensive at 400,000 dark zone credits. Alternatively, you could go on a successful manhunt and earn a manhunt cache with a 3% drop chance for classified. Method number 7 might not be the most rewarding method, but it's very simple. Performing the light zone run and eliminating the named enemies can also reward you with classified, as each of these 15 bosses has a drop chance of 6%. If you're interested in this run, follow the link in the description, I created a guide for it on where to go and in what order. Season pass holders can come across their twice monthly season pass supply drop, having a chance of 10% to drop a classified as well. The west side pier differs slightly where the bosses have a 1% chance to drop a classified, but drone couriers, which are part of west side pier assignments, have a 5-6% to chance. Although this last way is not necessarily a method, earning specific caches can reward you with specific drop chances as well. The eighth and final so-called method is farming field proficiency, underground, last stand and skirmish caches, each having a 3-6% to drop chance for classifieds. And that wraps up the methods of earning classifieds from most guaranteed to least guaranteed. Thanks for watching, if you enjoyed or used the guide, I would like to ask you to like or dislike, share, subscribe and click that notification bell. Become part of the Masterminds HD community and notification squad. On top of that, you can follow me on Twitter for daily updates and join my Discord if you're looking for an engaged community that revolves around Tom Clancy's Division 1 and 2. Both links are in the description. Visit my Patreon page through the links in the description if you're interested in the classified gear set sprite sheet with the 8 methods and their drop chances from this video. Usually these are for my patrons only, but I will make this one public so everybody can download it and get ready for the Division 2. To end the video I have two questions for you. What classified gear sets have you completed already and how many sets have you min-maxed? Leave your answer in the comment section below and I'll make sure to get back to you. I myself only need a Nomad holster, classified of course, and then I have all the sets complete. I have about 4 gear sets min max being Reclaimer, Firecrest, Striker and Lone Star. I'll talk to you in the next video on Discord or on Twitter. For now, peace out.